guys! September is Childhood Cancer Awareness Month, so I am here to show you guys another gold-themed tutorial inspired by Be The Gold. For more information on this grassroots childhood cancer awareness movement, read the video description. Today we'll be making a big hanging time turner decoration. As a grown-up Harry Potter fan, I'm always trying to think up ways that I can incorporate references to the series when I'm decorating my home. This tutorial is pretty simple and it's made out of a few inexpensive things that you can find at a local craft store. This large version of Hermione's Time Turner is made out of three wooden embroidery hoops. Mine are 8 inch, 6 inch, and 4 inch sizes. You can choose to make yours bigger or smaller, just make sure that they will fit inside one another like this. For the round hourglass shape in the middle, I found these wooden spheres that I can attach with string. They're called decorative fillers and I found them in the floral section at Michael's. To start, open your hoops by twisting the screw. We'll be threading twine into each hoop to attach them at various points so that the time turner can spin. First, cut a length of twine and thread it between the two pieces that make up the middle sized hoop at the 9 o'clock spot. Pull it gently so the two ends are the same length. Now, twist the ends to make an X. Grab the largest hoop. You'll be threading the ends of the X in between the pieces of this hoop from opposite sides crossing in the middle. So the first piece came from the bottom up and the second piece is going from the top down, just like this. So there's still an X shape in between the two and the hoops will hold it there when you tighten them later. Then switch to the opposite side of the middle hoop and do the same thing with another piece of twine at the 3 o'clock spot. This can be a little bit tricky, but just take your time. Until you tighten the hoops later, you can adjust the twine by gently pulling on it to get it in just the right spot. I also made sure that the X's went in the same direction, looking back at the first one for reference. Remember to tuck in one end from top to bottom, and the other end from the bottom to the top. Once both sides are attached, tighten them by pulling on the ends so that the middle hoop will hang correctly. You don't want it to hit the other hoop when it spins. Now you can tighten the largest hoop since you're done with that one. Next, we'll be attaching the smallest hoop to the middle hoop. You'll need a longer piece of twine this time. Thread the twine between the two pieces of the middle hoop at the 12 o'clock position and pull it through until the ends are even. Then twist to make your X and thread the ends onto the smallest hoop this time, one from the bottom up and one from the top down, just like we did before. Tighten and adjust this part so the smallest hoop hangs correctly, because it will be tough to fix this part later. Now we'll be making our decorative suggestion of an hourglass. <laughs> I decided that this didn't need to be functional since it's just a decoration, but feel free to build a real one if you really want to. Take your first wooden ball and a crochet hook. Push the crochet hook straight through the hole so it pokes out on the other side. Then grab your piece of twine and pull it all the way back through. I pulled the pieces of twine through one at a time because I thought that it was easier that way, but feel free to do whatever makes you comfortable. Once your first ball is on both pieces of twine, push it to the top of the small hoop. Then attach the second ball in the same way. Now it should look like this. Next, attach the twine to the bottom of the small hoop by threading one piece from the top and one piece from underneath. Pull the ends to move it into place and tighten the hourglass section. To attach the last part, twist to make an X and thread the ends onto the middle hoop at the 6 o'clock position, one from above and one from below just like before. Pull to tighten and then you're basically assembled! Next, I took some time to adjust and tighten the attachment points just to make sure that it would hang correctly. When you're happy with it, tighten all of the hoops for good. That will hold all of the twine in place and keep the attachment points nice and strong. Now, tie the twine ends around the hoops they're attached to and secure the knots with tacky glue. Once the glue is dry, trim the loose ends with scissors. To finish it off, I brought my time turner outside and gave it a few coats of gold spray paint. Once it's dry, tie it to a long piece of twine and attach it to your ceiling. And that's it! A lovely shiny gold time turner that your Harry Potter loving friends will appreciate and your more judgmental relatives will never know. Unless they watch my videos. I am really happy with the way that this project turned out. Haha, <laughs> get it? Because it's a time turner. <laughs> Let me know if you guys end up making one of these as well. I would love to see it, so send your pictures to me on Twitter at Lauren Myrtle.
Also, last year I did another gold Harry Potter tutorial for Be The Gold. It was a golden snitch hair clip. Click right over here to watch that and learn how to make your own. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon!